I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today we'll be talking about component bundles. So it's a very uh, small topic. I won't be uh, taking much of your time today. Um, so what we're gonna do? So we're gonna I'm gonna show you the documentation where you can go and read about more information about component bundles. This is something which you should know when you're uh, doing Lightning Developer. So uh, in our previous uh, lecture, we talked about advantage of using Lightning and why you should consider that as an option going forward if your team uh, is interested in building a mobile ready application, right? And then I also demonstrated a basic Lightning component, right? And so, yeah, that's that's that was a pretty interesting um, uh, session, I believe. Okay, so what we're going to do, so we're going to talk about uh, the component bundles. So if you remember the way to create a Lightning component, right? So let's let's do one thing. So let's go to the developer console, the way to go to the developer console. So before we're going to developer console, as usual, you know, you need to log into your work. And I will never encourage you to use customer sandbox or production. So please uh, use the developer, free developer account, right, to test it. Um, all right, so let's go to developer console. Um, all right, okay. Um, so go to new and you go to component. Uh, I just gotta do whatever you want. Test one, test one, and something, right? Uh, so pay attention to uh, the bundle on the right hand side. We have components, we have controller, we have helper, we have style, documentation, render, design, uh, SVG, right? And out of which components the mandatory one and controller um, um, and other stuff are not really mandatory. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into the documentation here. It's, you can find on the developer.salesforce.com. I'll, I'll put the link below in the description for your information. So you can see that these are the things which we have, right? So when we created uh, this one, right? Uh, test one dot CMP, it, it automatically created a component uh, file for you that is dot uh, CMP. So this is only required resource in the bundle, right? And what does it contain? It contains a markup for the component of app. So when we talk about the markup, right? This is the markup we're talking about. This is aura related uh, markup, right? Okay, cool. And then we have CSS, you know CSS, right? It's used to style. So if you're someone who came from HTML, CSS, or JavaScript background, you know what uh, CSS is about, right? If you don't know what CSS, please go and check it out about CSS. It's very important you understand CSS and HTML before you uh, jump into Lightning Developer and a bit of JavaScript as well. Okay, cool. All right, so we have controller. So if you if you go here, this is what talking controller is a JavaScript file. And so basically the controller, right, it's a client side container controller to handle the events in the com uh, component if we have any kind of events, right? Uh, so that's why the client side uh, controller comes in the picture. Then we have design, so dot design. So this is a file required for component used in Lightning App Builder or other pages. So uh, this is a design, uh, sorry. This is a design one, right? And so uh, let me double click and see what happens. Okay, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, so it just do something called test or design. Okay, so you see it's 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 a design, and uh, you can, um, so you can. Uh, so this is a file actually used for components, right? Then we have documentation. So if you wanted to or do a documentation about sample code and add different references, then you can do that as well. And then we have renderer, which is a client-side renderer to, if you have a default rendering, right, for a component, and if you wanted to overwrite your default rendering, then you can uh, use the renderer.js. Uh, so it's a JavaScript file, so you can create your own custom renderer there, right? So this is something um, you can see here. This is the one, these are JavaScript, this is a JavaScript file. Right, that's why I said that it's important you understand JavaScript if you don't know. I'll put the resource below. There are a lot of free resources out there. Anyway, I'll just put the free resource for you if you wanted to uh, check it out, right? Um, this is one of the prerequisites. So if you are uh, getting into Lightning development, you need to know HTML, you need to know CSS and JavaScript. It will be good to have, right? And even for a Visual Force uh, page development, it will be good to know some of HTML 
and JavaScript, right? Cool. All right, then we have helper. This is again a JavaScript function that can be called from any JavaScript code in the component bundle, right? Which is pretty cool. And then we have SVG file, which is for creating, it's like a for icon resource and kind of stuff for a component, right? Components have an icons, right? So if you, you see, uh, I'm not sure if you have seen a, any rapid action development in Mormon, if you're someone who came from um, a C, a C Sharp or a Delphi or other background where you drag and drop a component, so component have an icon, right? So component icon resource, so, you know, think about it that way. Right. So this is, uh, this is all I wanted to cover today. Uh, as I said, uh, you don't need to know very in-depth uh, Lightning development experience to for, or go and attempt the platform dev. Uh, so Lightning Dev is an entirely different topic, so you need to know a lot of things, right? So I will, when I get time, I will cover that, but not sooner, because what I'm going to do, um, I'm planning to, once I finish this platform dev, which I think I might uh, be done by next week, I will start Einstein, right? Because Einstein is a popular uh, analytics, right? And many companies use it. I like Einstein, so we can see, you know, the thing, different stuff, you know. It's an exciting topic. Um, then once we uh, complete Einstein, we can start with Apple certification path, right? Um, because I'm, my main aim is to educate you guys, you know, to give you real life scenario. You know, that's why sometimes you find me writing different codes. Um, and on that, I just wanted to tell you one more thing that uh, I've actually change my um, blog uh, URL because uh, I changed it to custom URL and I started writing uh, you know different stuff so if you if you're interested to uh, know how to do batch apex so I've done you know um, a code uh, explaining how to do the kind of stuff right you know just to get you started or if you wanted to know what a factory method there is there is another um, video about that sorry there's another uh, post about that as well so uh, before I used to move all my you know YouTube uh, platform that videos to here now I started writing posts right uh, just to help you guys so you know because it's even useful for me because going forward if I want to refer back to my own blog I can refer right um, so this is about the factory pattern so which is very commonly used pattern um, so we use it at times depending upon the requirement right so if you wanted to instance share different classes based on right you know like if you wanted to have a common method but comes from a different classes then you can use factory pattern right so yeah that's that's pretty much i wanted to um i'll put the link uh below for this blog as well if you're interested if you can subscribe to my email you know i often put the blog i mean pretty much every day so yeah, you, uh, rest assured that you will get some new topics. So I might even add admin topic. And then when we start Einstein, I'm going to start adding Einstein as well, right? Because you guys are the, my inspiration, right? Because you guys are listening to me. And that actually is the main motivation behind me to uh, do this stuff, right? So that I help you guys. Let's learn this stuff together, right? Let's let's build the skill together, you know, because that's what I believe in. You know, once I learn the stuff, I wanted to educate the rest of the people, right? So that, you know, it's good to have build the Salesforce ecosystem, especially in uh, ANZ, in Australia, New Zealand, right? Okay, that's being said, that's all I wanted to cover today. So I'm not sure if you guys been hearing some rain noise in the background. Uh, it's been raining, you know, since morning, it's just like pouring and uh, yeah. All right, so uh, that's that's enough. For me for today, uh, adios and greetings from New Zealand. Bye-bye.